Hello, this is the first lesson of my course Learning to Play the Melodica. This course is not intended for beginners but for advanced players. Because I am a classical musician, it's only intended for players who like and play classical music. The purpose of this course is that you not only learn to play this beautiful and expressive instrument as a solo instrument, but that you learn to play it especially in combination with other keyboard instruments, such as the organ, piano, harpsichord or even the harmonium or reed organ. The lessons last about a quarter of an hour. In this first lesson I will introduce you to the melodica and I hope you'll buy one after this introduction if you don't yet have one. Now I'll explain how the instrument works. Mostly it has a compass of 32 keys from F to C3. But there are also melodicas with 37 keys with a compass from F to F3. Here you see a flexible tube and a mouthpiece. If you play the melodica with this flexible tube, you can put it on your knees and play it horizontal, like a piano, in this way. If you play it with this little mouthpiece, like most players of popular music do, you play it in this way. I prefer playing with the flexible tube because you have one hand free. When you play it with this mouthpiece, you must hold the melodica with your left hand and with your right hand you play on the keys. But if you play with this flexible tube, you can put it on this plank or board and you play with your right hand on the melodica. 
you put this little mouthpiece between your teeth and now you play with the right hand on the melodica and the left hand you have free to play on this beautiful harpsichord. So you can play both instruments simultaneously. Now I'll show you how to blow on it. You take this mouthpiece between your teeth, press a key and say to or who. If you say two, you get a sharp and precise attack. If you say who, the tone is less sharp and accented. The beginning of the tone is less harsh. You can say also do, then you get a tone in between. First, I play some tones with two with a sharp and precise attack. So you can give every tone an accent. And now with who, then the tone is less harsh and more vocal, more gentle. And with do you get a tone in between. This playing with do is the normal way of playing the melodica. But there is still another way of playing that is without saying to, who or do. Only on the first note you say to or who or do and on the remaining notes you continue with blowing, without moving your tongue. We call this legato. If you play legato, you play the notes with one long breath. Like this way. If you play the notes with a short breath, you get staccato. You can make the staccato notes shorter or longer. When you make the notes short, you get this. And if you make the notes longer, we call it portato, like this way. That is 
Portato. Now we are going to play our first little piece on Melodica and on this beautiful harpsichord. It is a minuet from the notebook of Anna Magdalena Bach. Bach composed some little pieces especially for his wife Anna Magdalena and this minuet is from that notebook.